Welcome back to Metal Tips and Tricks. My next person I interviewed is a good friend of mine, Jim Bollinger from Do Right Fabrication. All right, you guys, welcome to Bar Z Summer Bash 2016. We're going to be doing some interviews of the different YouTubers. And right now I've got Jim Bollinger from Do Right Fabrication. And Jim, you have been on, you've had your channel up about a year and a half. Just about a year and a half. And what you, how, many, how many subscribers? Um, right around 5,000. That is incredible growth for such a short period of time. Now, here is the real question I want to ask you is, how did you get started doing your YouTube videos? Uh, I bought a camera and I just started filming stuff and uh, learned to use the delete button a lot. I use the delete button, I love that. Now, what was your inspiration for starting your channel? Um, for me, it was teaching. Uh, I, like, I like to teach. Um, I like to watch other people, the way other people do things and, and show them the way I would do it uh -huh. um, and inspire them to get out and, and do things, not necessarily my way, but inspire them to think, get out there and create something in their shop uh, maybe a mix of other ways they've seen other creators do things. Right. And now you also teach for Lincoln Welding. I do. So you are a natural teacher, and I love natural teachers. I know one of my favorite YouTubers is, of course, Mr. Pete, and he's one of yours. And he's just a great inspiration to all of us. Now, let me ask you this question. What advice do you have to somebody wanting to start a YouTube channel or already has one? Probably for me, it would be the same advice that I, that I took uh, from some people. It's just turn a camera on. <laughs> And start filming. There's, you, you just have to do it, and you're not going to like it the first time. You're not going to like it the third time. That's okay. Just keep trying and keep doing it, and realize that you're never going to like the way you sound on TV because it's not the way it sounds in your head. It sounds totally different in your head, but other people are already used to it, so it's not weird to them. Okay, that's excellent advice. Now, here's the technical question people want to know, and you get to kind of cheat on half of this. What type of camera do you use and editing software? So for the cameras, it's, it's real simple. They're uh, GoPro uh, Hero 3 Black Editions. I have three Black Editions and one White Edition. I just use the white for uh, watching the mill, the lathe, whatever, okay. whatever I'm doing. Um, the others are my face, face cameras set up around. Okay. Uh, for editing, <clears throat> I just tell people, uh, I fix a computer with a hammer. <laughs> Computers and I, we just don't, we don't, we don't communicate. Uh, so I'm very blessed that uh, I have a, a close friend and a partner, a business partner, that uh, uh, he does the editing for me, and uh, he has a much better eye for it than I do. Great, great. So, Jim, thank you very much. You're very welcome. And we'll just see you around. So, everybody, thank you, and let's keep this party going. I hope you guys have enjoyed this interview. I know I enjoyed producing it and also getting a chance to talk to these guys. It's been a great experience. If you did like this video, please give me some thumbs up. Also, give me some of your positive, supportive comments. Also, don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, go out in your shop, build something cool. Thanks. Mm -hmm.